Okay, so I completely forgot to do a question of the day for this episode, but as it turns out, that's probably for the best. I've linked a poll in a pinned comment underneath this video. Please follow it and let me know what you think. I haven't recorded any new episodes after this one because of the horrible migraine that I had been experiencing, so this poll will have a direct effect on episodes 13 and afterwards. Thanks in advance for voting! What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scale Tree, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 4. This is the second part of my first recording session since coming back from vacation. Thank you guys for being so cool with my absence, for leaving such lovely comments, including on episode 10, which, uh, frankly, I was <laughs> a little bit surprised about because, oh my god. <laughs> You, you guys are encouraging me. That's that's dangerous. You shouldn't do that. I'm, I'm saying this with a lot of affection. Honestly, it really flattered me. I don't want to dilly-dally. I do have enough materials to theoretically visit the lab and get an Ochi resist, but like I said, I believe in my last true episode, not the bonus episode. I don't know what is in Hero's Hideaway, so I think it would be kind of premature to get Ochi a resistance when I don't even know what the hazards are there yet. I don't even really know what it looks like. Though I'm gonna guess, since it is, quote, inside of a large structure, that it might be in the same house where we had the introduction with Olimar and the Pikmin. But anyway, I'm gonna do my first day mission there, and depending on how time looks afterwards, I might go back to Serene Shores for a night expedition. And instead of <laughs> serenading Yanni, I'll just flirt with him like a normal human being. Good grief. Colin, you need to stop me from talking now. Let's go somewhere. Well, hey. The SS Beagle is prepared for launch. All we need now is a destination. Well, you are going to be so happy to hear that I am finally hauling my candy ass to Hero's Hideaway. Oh man, I'm so ready for this. Actually, probably not, because it's been three weeks since I last recorded. I mentioned that in the Piclopedia and Treasure Horde bonus episode, if you guys skipped out on that. So I'm probably going to be extremely rusty. Please be nice <laughs> in the comments. I have not picked up this controller in like several weeks, so this is going to be fun. We're going to go to the fourth area with me being... Rusty as hell, let's do it. Oh my god, I can't wait to see the new area overlay. This is gonna be sweet. See you later, everybody! I love you guys! <laughs> ah! You know, it feels so good to be recording again, too. I'm extremely happy to be back and playing this game. I'm so glad I saved this for when I return from my vacation. Also, in a test recording, I mentioned that I like the fact that there's now a little loading bar underneath the Pikmin. I mean, it kind of looks visually cluttery, but it gives me a better idea of how long I have left to wait. <gasps> oh, okay. Armored Cannon Beetle. Moving platforms. Good music. I see fire. I see water. Okay. I saw an, uh, jelly. Oh my god. It- Is this the same house? It looks extremely similar. Alright. <laughs> Colin, give me the deets, my guy! Colin here. It looks like you're safely inside the structure. Based on your current location, we were right to conclude that Captain Olimar is in this area! Woohoo! Oh. Oh, this is gonna be so sick. Okay, okay. I found a log associated with your exact coordinates. Unknown area. I'm so close to fully repairing the SS Dolphin. The remaining parts should be somewhere inside this giant structure that I've never seen before. 
It's as if the rules of logic I've come to understand may not apply here. Oh? I'll have to explore carefully now. Rules of logic I've come to understand. Okay. So, in the tutorial, when the Pikmin scattered and we had to go find them, they seemed really scared, and they all just kind of yeeted out of the onion. They fled. Is something similar gonna happen to us? I imagine it will, if not now, then perhaps later. Because it was such an odd thing, like, completely unique to the franchise, as far as I'm aware. Interesting. I'm dying to know what this means. Oh, hey, Bernard! Nice to hear you, Overcoms! Haven't had that happen before. And we've got one more piece of surprising news. The spaceship we found at the rescue command post is Captain Olimar's! <gasps> Oh, you guys caught on! Way to go, mate! Way to go! After analyzing its flight logs, we can confirm it came from Hakatate. No. Which means we can now track Captain Olimar by scent! Before you set out, I had Ochi memorize any smells associated with the ship, so we might be able to find its castaways. Oh, so find Captain Olimar, Ochi! We're counting on you, Kip Kip! Oh, that's so sick. Okay. First of all, I, I think I got cut off before I said it, but I'm living for the music here. This area looks smaller than Serene Shores, but there's going to be a lot more crazy differences in elevation because of the human furniture. Which is obscenely sick. Okay, this is where the sink was with its water. This is where the burners were that are on. That's a waste of gas, guys. Who's being suggested? We've got... Oh. Hmm. Yellows, ice pikmin, and rocks. So again with the ice pikmin. They really want us to use ice pikmin in these overworlds. I am gonna go auto for today, because, again, I'm not totally sure what this area is really like, but... It's going to be good to see yellow Pikmin out a bunch, and rock Pikmin, too. Hello, guys! Nice to see you all. Hmm. Oh, well, okay, there's materials right here. Or, I guess, right here? Oh! Uh, okay, so yellow Pikmin... How do I get to the... <laughs> <laughs> All right, today's already going so well. Oh. I'm- I guess we just have to squeeze ourselves through this crevice. Or I could have gone around back here and that would have been a lot easier. Well. One exceedingly tiny <laughs> pile of materials later that took way too long. Wait a minute. Stargazer spot? Oh, that's so- cute. This is severely cute already. I am screaming and crying. Oh, you. I know you. These guys, I think, die pretty easily in, like, one hit. Yeah. Come on. And... Oh! Ochi Rush, right? And two treasures right off the rip. We love to see that. Anything fun over here? Mm. Ah, okay. So we've got another warp pipe. <gasps> oh? Moss? Hey! Hey, girl, what's good? Ma'am? Where's Nolamar? Isn't he supposed to be with you, threatening to... Dan Dory me into the ground? Interesting. Okay. Look! Over there! It's the dog that was running around with that leafling. It looks like it's all alone at the moment. I'll check and see what the voyage log says about it. Moss, the guard dog. Moss has been guarding the outside of the bunker for me while I rest. She's also been gathering up Pikmin, though it's unclear where she's finding them. 
Either way, I feel so lucky to have Moss by my side in all this. Come on. So, if this dog is the Moss mentioned in the log, then that leafling must be... Ah, at last. At last we have uncovered the mystery. There she is. She's chillin'. Uh-oh, what does this symbol mean? What do you mean, this symbol? Uh-oh. Okay, no, 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 no. We're not gonna deal with you trying to whistle up my Pikmin, no siree. Is she gonna follow me through that? Oh, dear. Okay, well... First and foremost, let's get our little buddies back. Oh my god, she's alone. Where's... <laughs> Where's Nolamar? Oh, man. I guess I can drop down like before. The warp pipe is just a convenient way to get back up. We've got several of these tusky blowhogs. So let's take them out real quick. Oh. And you guys were not kidding, by the way. Rock Pikmin plus Ochi's charge. That is monumental impact damage. Like, like they, the Ice Pikmin don't even have time to freeze these things. That's obscenely good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. One more time for good measure. Get nuked! Sorry, seeing these things die very quickly brings me a, um, ooh. Why, hello there. Brings me a special amount of joy because they caused me a lot of trouble. Oh, wait. Is Moss gonna notice? Oh, oh, she totally is. Oh, no, you don't. Ma'am? I'm sorry. I may have to beat you up. I'm sorry, girl. Oh, no. Ugh! Oh, dear. It's taking the Pikmin! I don't know what that dog intends to do with them, but we need to get them back. Oh, that's gonna be such a... messy... messy... <laughs> vibe for the area. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I don't mean to beat you up, but I can tell that you're gonna be one of those enemies that regenerates steadily over time. You can't kill Moss. Right, that's, that's just... A, that's not cool, and B, that's really not cool. So, I'm going to let her chill there, I guess. All right, there's a treasure nearish by. Hey, Ochi, can you sniff this out, please? Or, I guess, actually just uh, pick up a scent, please. Whatever is capturing your attention, I want to see it. Oh! Oh, it's Olimar. Okay. I hear all of my Pikmin gathering up materials. <laughs> this area is kind of hectic, and I'm sort of living for it. I can appreciate the insanity of having just Moss coming after us, although it is good that she can be left indisposed so quickly, I would say. Go ahead and grab that. She's not regaining health too fast, which I can appreciate. I guess while those guys work on that, I'm gonna let some of my other Pikmin come back to hang out with Ochi. Oh? What the hell are you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, I'm gonna say you probably want to eat my Pikmin. And, all right, so Rock Pikmin help get rid of the thing on your back. And you're not actually that hard to get rid of. Oh, wait, what? Uh. I mean, I guess that's cool. Um, thanks, buddies. <laughs> oh, there's a pipe up here. Fantastic. What's our first cave of the area gonna look like?
Doppelganger's Den. I keep commanding Moss to follow a scent, and she keeps leading me completely off track. There must be some creature down here emitting an unusual smell that can trick not just Moss and the Pikmin, but my sensors too. What a deceptive ecosystem. Okay, so I guess this goes along with the voyage log where Olimar was just like, hey, you know, stuff that I have been taking for granted, that I've been assuming is logical, might not always make sense here. Okay. So here, we really have to be careful. All right, I see skeeter skates. I see more of those things, whatever it is I just killed. Some grody, sticky mold, so... Mm, might be good to get the boots for that, if it's affordable, which I don't think it is. I think they were like 240, which is an obscene price. Definitely gonna need Ice Pikmin, because I see Frosty Gates. Yeah, I see Sprouted Ice Pikmin, too. Okay, well... That's something I can think about later. What's up, Ochi? Can't go any further? Oh, there you are, Och. How's everybody looking? We've got some other people passing by with treasures. Aha! Okay, so there's a cave up there. I do see a flying platform, whatever that's up to. Let's get back on Ochi for now. I know I could be using my survey drone, but I really like just going around and potentially getting myself into trouble. I think it's a fun way to play. I see scuttle chucks, I'm pretty sure those are called. Yeah, scuttle chucks. Fantastic. Actually, no, 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 no. We don't need... I'm kind of saving those in case of grinding. Because I think I'd rather have a bunch of my Pikmin back to deal with Moss if I have to again. I've got people returning. And I guess they're coming right back underneath this table. That should be easy. Amp Rat. I mean, this should be clean enough with just a charge. Actually, you know what? I bet even an Ochi charge on one of these things. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, buddies. Welcome back. New base unlocked. Maybe I should take advantage of it. Maybe. Foot of the stairs. Yeah, actually, why not? We've got a couple pieces of raw material that we can take care of right now. There's a treasure right here? Hold on. W what did I miss? Where are you? <gasps> oh. I bet it's way up there or... Requires a rush to get? Hmm. It looks like Moss might be down for basically the whole day. Which is kind of wild. I would have thought that she would be getting up a lot quicker than this. I mean, I'm not complaining about it. Don't get me wrong, but... <gasps> oh. Okay. I see. Oh no. Ugh. It looked like it was too far for my reticle to cheese that with winged Pikmin. I'm... No, 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 no. I, I want to get this treasure. I was about to say, I'm gonna go back to the other base, but I think it's gonna bug me if I don't figure out what to do with that. So let me get another look. It's dangling from this lamp, quite clearly. Move the base, thank you. And actually, I can put away my ice Pikmin because I have all of them here and that frees up my wing slot. Hello, buddies. Let's see if 
we can get you guys to cheese. Charge. No. Oh, okay, I see. I see what we're talking about here. We need to get onto that floating platform. And that might be better done downstairs. It occurs to me that my Pikmin are probably not coming to me because I have them on a uh, an enemy. A, a corpse, sorry. And I guess while we have the base up there, since I know my yellow Pikmin are just going to come with me, I'm going to let them bring their spoils back. Why not? Yellows are the primary, are part of the primary color trio that I have not finished um, getting over 200 members in. I think they only had 175 or something earlier. I didn't check clearly <laughs> when I was back at camp. Oh yeah, yeah. These guys are trying to carry corpses. But they don't need to worry about that. Because I know corpses don't have to be picked up like or else. I'm gonna let them chill there until I need to repopulate a Pikmin type. I don't think I have time to fight the armored cannon beetle, but I want to at least get the pathway opened. There we go. Oh boy. Now the real question is, do you fight this the way you would fight it in Pikmin 1? Because the arctic cannon beetle had very different energy about it. Fan now on. Well, I'm not gonna worry about fighting it till later. Let's see where this goes. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh. Oh hi. Oh little fleas. Oh. Let's- let's- oh my god. Camera? Ochi. Ochi, I'm riding on you to prevent my camera from doing whatever the hell that was. Hmm. Moss is almost awake again. She really was basically out for three quarters or more of the day. I think I can get these without alerting her. Can I? No, no, no. Y you guys don't have to go all that way. Uh, never mind. Okay. I know I can get up here later. I don't want to deal with fighting her again, if I can help it. What I can do is at least clear off some of the other enemies. And I'm glad that rock Pikmin don't detonate bomb rocks, because I just realized that if they did, that could have been extremely terrible. I'm also a little bit confused at not really seeing any elemental hazards out here. But I guess that concern can wait for another time. This has been an extremely fascinating area to look around in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm living for all of this little stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not we're not talking to you, Moss. Get lost. You know, actually, I bet that's a really rude thing to tell her because I think she might be lost since Olimar I can call him Olimar now, because everybody else has realized it's probably Olimar. Olimar's gone, man. <laughs> Where is he? Ochi clearly, very clearly picked up his scent. And we are gonna follow it, don't worry. I just... I don't want to rush to the end of the game. What I think is, you know, at least the mid-game ending, if you know what I mean. I have this feeling, right, this gut feeling that it can't be the end end. It get like, th because Pikmin 4 is so much like Pikmin 2 2, if you know what I'm talking about, I'm kind of thinking that rescuing Olimar is not the finale. I think it's the same as like repaying the debt in Pikmin 2, where you meet like your minimum goal. That was your, your initial plan. But then something happens, or there's some other reason you go back and you try to finish up everything else. Anyway, today we got the Wisdom Emblem, the Relentless Spear, 
a trap lid, the Peacemaker combo bot, and the Shooting Star shields. Peacemaker combo bot. Oh, I bet when you get all of the pieces of that set together, you can put it together into like a, a little mecha toy. That would be so cute. 2% done. Not complaining. This was mostly just trying to get to know the new area. I'm extremely pleased to see that my yellow Pikmin numbers are now on par with my reds. I'm slightly baffled by how many blue Pikmin I have, but I'm not going to complain about that either. It means I don't have to grind for them. <gasps> oh, but first... Hey! We're going to talk to my guy Dingo. Hey, Dingo. Isn't it about time you got back out there and helped us search for the missing castaways? Fair question, Colin. Maybe, but who's going to protect the rescue command post while I'm gone? And it has been helpful to have Dingo on call to provide any necessary guidance for Kip Kip. I suppose I hadn't considered it that way. Well, be sure to consider it in the future. <sighs> that was a close one. <laughs> you lazy ass! <laughs> I always pictured him as somebody who'd be, like, itching to get back to it, but that's kind of funny that he's just like, nah, you know what, I'm cool doing the quieter part of my ranger duties. I like vibing at camp and trying to <laughs> woo Captain Shepard. And <laughs> complaining about my problems to yawn. Oh, gosh. Okay, well... I have a decent amount of recording time left. As much as I want to dive right back into Hero's Hideaway again immediately, I think that I've proven that I'm rusty enough <laughs> that a night mission is going to be terrible. So I'm going to do one of those. But of course, as is customary, I, uh, I, well not I, it can't be me. Kip Kip needs to flirt with Yanni first. Not doing a musical number, because I actually remembered to fulfill this promise. Okay. The A to talk button is just killing my vibe. <laughs> hey, Yanni. I'm gonna need you to check me for arrhythmia, because my heart just can't stop racing around you. That was awful. What's up, man? Uh, how are your night expeditions going? Be sure to keep your guard up out there. Aw, Yanni, Yanni, baby, Yanni, baby. You don't have to worry about Kip Kip. Kip Kip's doing great. She remembers that Glow Mob exists. I mean, what more can you ask for? Let's chat, actually. What's up, dude? Even though I'm rather intrigued by the leaflings, I must fight the urge to start picking and plucking at their leaves. Apparently, our bushy friends use that foliage to breathe. <laughs> I like how curious you are. <laughs> I can't tell if I, Scale Tree, should be flattered or a little bit creeped out. And I'm pleased to announce that I'm kind of both, actually. Let's explore. These areas have been approved for night expeditions. Well, I think it's time. Serene Shores? Oh, wasn't well, that curious? We actually have a direct danger curve this time. Because in the other two areas, it was to be like, you know, a one fire followed by a double two fire or something. Now we got one, two, three. So that's interesting. They're steadily cranking up the <laughs> spice level. Anyway, Blossoming Dunes. Isn't there just something so thrilling about going out at night? I wish I could go with you. <laughs> I'm sure Kip Kip wouldn't mind if you did. Wink wink. Nudge nudge. You don't have to stay back at uh, command post, you know. You and her could like... Enjoy some glow sap beneath the stars. I need to. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, man. Sorry. <clears throat> you have a job to do, and so do I. Let's get going. 
Oh Christ, and the pure redness of this sunset. I literally almost forgot while I was on vacation how dramatic and stark this lighting is. Again, it's so... It's, it's got so much character. This whole game has so much character. I am gonna have to get used to the little loading bar at the bottom. I'm assuming that's not just me. Serene shores. Oh, we see blow hogs come out at night. I see... Were those sheer wigs? Oh, that sucks. The flowers are still gorgeous. The water is still beautiful. Not surprised even a little bit. I wonder if glow pikmin can go underwater. I imagine they can. But, I mean, how should I know, right? And it looks like we've only got one luminal tonight. Unlike that <laughs> terrifying surprise from last time. And okay, get off, Ochi. Please do me a big favor and go protect that while I scour for glow pellets. There are glow pellets in the water too. What's this? The glow pigmen are fine. Well, that's really reassuring. I like knowing that my buddies are fine. I did get a piece of advice that said, hey, <laughs> make sure that you, what's it called? Make sure that you activate the trick knolls by getting close to them. And yeah, I completely did not notice that I didn't activate them previously. Track creatures using your night radar. Of course, sir. The creatures are starting to perk up. Well, obviously, it wouldn't be a night mission without all kinds of very, very antsy critters. I could use mines. I'm wondering if I can actually use the sticky one on these uh, puffy blowhogs. I think that would be extremely useful if I could. Think you have enough glow, Pikmin? I never have enough glow, Pikmin, Yanni. What are you talking about? Ah. <gasps> oh! Oh, hold up. I... Oh my god. I can't believe I only just noticed. But the aggroed creatures are flashing red. So I know I need to go in this direction to get them. And I can grab this trick knoll along the way. Oop, I can get both of you guys. I think with the glow mob, maybe? Uh, yeah. Yeah! Oh, fantastic. See? I'm... I'm getting better at this. The, okay, the other trick knoll is being attacked, though. That's not good. I did see those other glow pellets, but... Uh, a trick knoll is being attacked. All right. Everybody, get wrecked. I want the trick knolls to be around as long as I can have them. Okay, go, 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 go. I think a normal charge is fine for these. And for these little guys. The creatures, the trick knoll. Uh, the other trick knoll now? That's pretty unfortunate. I know, I know. I got it, I got it. Don't worry. I mean, you have every right to worry. I'm not very good at night expeditions, but... I do try very hard, and I think that's worth something. We got a couple coming down that way, a couple coming down this way. I'm closer to here, so might as well. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, that was a bust, but that's okay. Uh, ugh. Everybody's currently working on these sheer wigs. Gather the glow Pikmin you need first. Oh, uh, my other trick knoll. Man. Man, you guys. You guys just can't give Kip Kip a poor break, can ya? They destroyed the trick knoll, huh? Well, that really blows. Guess I'm gonna have to get back there. Oh boy. Here comes the spooky stinger. Ochi's been hurt. That's normal. I, I mean, I don't like it, but 
Ugh. It's okay. We're coming. And we're gonna save you, buddy. I've got a glow mob coming right their way. Yeah, go, 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 go. The creatures, the Tricknell. The Tricknell was wiped out. That's fine. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. I could probably use another glow mob, but I want to save it. All right, glow Pikmin. Uh, okay. Uh, that's a lot of little guys. Oh no. Uh, glow mob? I could, I could really use you uh, coming off of cooldown. I think that would be extremely sweet, in fact. Are you kidding me? Okay, so apparently I can't use Glow Mob if one of my Glow Pikmin get interrupted mid-attack. Oh dear. Man, how do you even <laughs> complete this particular night expedition? And get all of the glow pellets and all the creatures. I... Wait, what? Oh! Thanks, Yanni! I'm impressed you defeated all those creatures. I wasn't even sure you'd survive the night. <laughs> Once again, thank you for your vote of confidence. Kip Kip! Ochi! You did it! Before I hit continue, I'm just gonna take a second. Look at how beautiful that background is. Serene shores at night. I think this is the prettiest night area yet. And my ocean bias is definitely not showing. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> anyway. Yeah! Okay, well, I'm glad that the return to night expeditions was uh, nice. <laughs> it was not too difficult. That'll make me feel better for when I go back. Um, maybe not in the next episode, but soon enough. <laughs> Look at the color on that. I can't wait to make medicine with it. You have fun, Yanni. I know you always do. Compared to what I was expecting when I saw the sheer volume of critters on that map, I mean, I know most of them were, were easy, but still. I'm pleasantly surprised. And I'm so happy to listen to this music again. Goodness knows. Really putting on the beats for me, Yanni, eh? <laughs> okay, we've got one cure, which means we can cure the final leafling that we have queued up, anyway. Yeah, there you are. And I've got a single pup drive, which is good because I've been told I should probably invest in pluck. What an incredible discovery! Glow Pikmin, even when touched by fire or electricity, are fine! Completely unharmed! Well, that sounds downright useful! Oh, that's not all! <laughs> Neither water nor poison bother them the least bit either! That's it! We must train ourselves to be as strong as Glow Pikmin! If they can do it, we can too, right? I'm pretty sure there's no amount of training that will make us <laughs> impervious to fire! Thank you, Colin, for being the one brain cell of this entire group. I... I greatly appreciate you. <laughs> okay. Day 26. We're going to watch this leafling get cured. And then, I believe, I'm going to cut away until next time. But first, let's see who our new friend is going to be. Right, administer the cure at once! Okay. Yes, Captain! Alright! Hello? Ooh! Hey, little miss! Molly from Planet Flukui. She's a streamer! Oh! Molly, give me tips, please! I couldn't stream the Piclopedia and Treasure Horde. I was so sad about it. She's a streamer who came to this planet in desperate need of content and followers. Her eccentric style hasn't quite caught on. Oh. Oh, dear. 
And of course, our work does not end there. I am going to talk to Molly. I need to get some hot streaming tips from her. But that, my dear friends, is going to have to wait till next time. So, in the next episode, we are going to return to Hero's Hideaway. We might jump into a cave, or I might just continue to explore. It will really depend on how I feel. I'm also going to get Ochi trained up to learn Pluck so that I can have him use that in Dandori challenges or dungeons. We'll see what happens. Either way, I'm extremely happy to be back recording Pikmin 4, getting caught up in the comments on my channel. Like I said, you guys have been extremely sweet and I really appreciate it. And I wish I could record more right now, but I've got stuff to do today. So in the meantime, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.